Hello friends, today we are going to do something very interesting. We are going to interact with an external smart contract through an app, but what is special is that we are going to be interacting natively with the price coordinator of Chainlink. Chainlink offers price coordinators in all the most popular Ethereum compatible blockchains. This allows us to have prices in real time for our dApps. This service also is a sponsor service, so it's free. You don't have to submit actual link token to get a price from the mainnet, which is quite neat. So for interacting with this price coordinator, we built a little price converter app that will allow us to place the price of a token and get the equivalent in USD leveraging the price coordinator that Chainlink offers. So for this we have a Flask app and the structure is very simple. We have a run.py that the only thing that it does is that initializes our Flask app. Then we have our Flash app which is just taking the Flask environment, initializing it, and then rendering an index.html in our root directory. The index.html is based on this base template, which is just loading the Bootstrap framework for making our content look a little bit nicer. And then itself, it has just some inputs here. One set of inputs is to allow us to log in with MetaMask, and this is going to be powered by Morales. And then we have another set of inputs here that allow us to input an amount of a token and convert it to USD. All the logic for that has to be placed in a JavaScript file because we are working mainly in the front end. So our JavaScript file is here. What we need for this JavaScript file to work is some data that we're going to get from Morales. You also will need to have the ABI of the price coordinator contract that Chainlink offers, but I already made that available for you here. It is not that difficult to get it from Brownie if you have used it before, but I decided to make it simple. So this is going to stay here in the repository that is in the description of the video. Then you need the address of the price aggregator ABI, which is something that varies by network. Depending on what network you are working on, you will need a different value for the address here. Now, what the logic is about is that you are logging with MetaMask and the ability to interact with the price converter will be unlocked once you are logging with MetaMask and this is going to be an interaction done by Morales and Morales will be storing the name and the email of the user and then saving it to your own Morales server, which is quite neat. Also, you are going to be able, once you are logging, to interact with the dApp itself, placing a quantity of the token that you want to convert and converting it to USD. What that token will be depends on the price aggregator that you are using because there are different ones for each different token pair. And we are going to review that when we get the data for this contract. We are going to get the data that we need to power our DAP. So for this, we need some data from Morales. So we are going to go to Morales and we are going to log in. In Morales, we are going to go to our server. If you don't have one, you create one. It's very easy. And then in details, you go to the server URL and we bring it to our Morales object over here. And the other part that we need is the application ID. So we get it from here and we paste it over here. Now we just need to get the right address for the price aggregator that we need. So for that, we need to define what network and what 
pair we want to get this price converted with. We are going to be working now in the Mumbai testnet of Matic. So we need to go to our browser again and we're going to click Chainlink Price Aggregator Addresses. This is a search in Google that you can make. And then when you get to this page, we can go to Polygonmatic. And here we can go to the testnet in Mumbai. It has less pairs, but it has the one that we want, which is Matic USD. And we copy that one, paste it here. And we have our contract now since we are inside the folder of this app and we are in the virtual environment we can just do flask run this is triggering this development server and we can then just go to our local host here in our browser we check that we are in the right network before doing anything else here so here we are still in another network. We are in Binance Smart Chain, which is not the one that we want to be. We want to be in Mumbai Testnet. We move out. We are in the right network right now. So I can do Daniel, Daniel at testing Mumbai .io, which is obviously not my email address. And then I connect with MetaMask, MetaMask, and Morales are interacting to get me signed on my DAP. I'm here. So I can put the MATIC amount that I want to convert. So let's say that I want to check what is the price in USD of one MATIC token. And I get the response from Chainlink, which is this amount, almost $1. Let's say that I have 600 MATIC tokens. And I have my conversion here. And this is just happening because of this routine that I have here. So there is something that I want to explain here that is that when we are interacting with this contract here, it's sending us back an object. And the only thing that we need from that object is the attribute that is called answer. This is the one that contains the price in the latest round that we have from that price aggregator. So that's the one that we are multiplying by the amount of tokens that we are placing in this amount token parameter and then dividing by the amount of decimals that is providing us, which is eight. And that gives us the amount in USD. Guys, I hope that this has been useful for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that like and subscribe to our channel. This is Daniel. See you in the next video.